And that then has to lead us to do something else very important. We have to break the sorry cycle. We have to break the sorry cycle. If we look again in Luke chapter 15, uh, verse number 18, Jesus is speaking on behalf of the prodigal son when he says, I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. I will set out and go back. Now what the son did here was something called repentance. Maybe you've heard, heard of repentance before, and yet sometimes I think repentance can kind of get a bad rap. Because repentance can oftentimes be misused and misunderstood. Sometimes repentance is not explained very well. Sometimes connection, uh, it, the connection to repentance is all about our eternal destiny. And, and if we don't repent, how we're going to burn in hell. Now, don't get me wrong. Hell's a real place. Just as real as heaven is, hell is just as real. And sadly, there are some people that are going to spend an eternity in hell. Not because God wants them there, but because they rejected Christ. And they never placed their faith in Jesus and accepted his sacrifice for their sins upon an old rugged cross. But there's more to repentance than just trying to scare people into doing it. So, they can, so that they can avoid the fires of hell. 